And welcome back to our live coverage here on Practice Court. One, Joey Brander with you. Live as world number one, Rafa Nadal just took the court, hitting alongside his coach and former world number one, former French Open champion, and the first Spaniard to reach the number one world rank, Carlos Moya. Quite a bit of tennis royalty on the court right now. Kevin Anderson nearby as well. Juan Martin Del Potro expected to hit the practice court in just a few minutes. Rafa Nadal, the 32-year-old 17-time Grand Slam champion, is, of course, the defending champion. He defeated Kevin Anderson in straight sets in last year's final. Rafa also took home the U.S. Open crown in 2010 and 2013, defeating Novak Djokovic on each occasion. Nadal came out firing in his first round match on Monday, opening day of this 50th U.S. Open. He defeated countryman David Ferrer. Nadal going into the match 24 and 6 all time against Ferrer and took home the victory. He had a strong first set before Ferrer ended up retiring due to a calf injury in the second set. Ferrer, now 36 years old, a former top, top five player himself, announcing in his post match interview that this U.S. Open appearance would be his final in a Grand Slam. Ferrer will retire from the tour next year. Last night we saw Rafa come out with another strong performance. He faced off against the tall Canadian Vasek Pospisil, winning 6-3, 6-4, 6-2 in the nightcap in Arthur Ashe Stadium. Following a victory from Serena Williams, Rafa seemed to be firing on all cylinders in that battle with the 28-year-old Canadian Pospisil. A former Wimbledon doubles champion was no match for Rafa, the world number one. Rafa will once again be on court tomorrow in what should be an exciting day of action. Of course, fans preparing for another installment of the Venus versus Serena Williams battle. Serena leading that head-to-head -head matchup 17 to 12. They'll face off in the third round tomorrow. And Rafa Nadal will face off against the number 27 seed Karen Kachanov from Russia. Nadal was expected to be on a collision course with Young American 18 seed Jack Sock, of course, a powerful ball striker, someone who's very comfortable on the hard court. But Sock was upset last night in four sets, so that clearing the path a bit for Rafa. Rafa, of course, the beneficiary of a well, it seems like a promising draw, especially with Djokovic falling not only in the bottom half of the draw, but in Roger Federer's quarter, meaning Rafa will only have to face one of the two should they all make it through the tournament. Rafa and all starting to accelerate a bit more now. We may see a bit longer of a practice from Rafa today being his off day. Rafa, of course, has been a top player on tour for over a decade now. Rafa, part of the big three or big four era and truly one of the greatest players in our sports history. Rafa, 17 Grand Slams.